Hello, Roundtable Sunday School class. I'm Reverend Eva Marie Campbell, and I'm scheduled to be your teacher this Sunday and the next Sunday. And I thought, since our building is still closed and we can't gather in person, I would record my sessions in your classroom so that you can at least get a look around at your room, ready and waiting for when we can come back together after this pandemic is over. Our sessions for the next two weeks will be looking at images of God. And for this first one, I'm going to share with you a book called Picturing God by Ruth Goring. I want you to listen to the various images of God that she brings forth. God is the word, and that word is love. God is the light of the world that shines in every darkness, the beautiful darkness of night, the darkness of hiding when we are afraid. The deep darkness of being all alone, God shines there. When we don't know where to go, God's light shines on our path and leads us home. God is our sunshine, and we sprout like seeds open to the light and start to grow. God's living water rains down from heaven to water our thirsty hearts. God's love pours over us and never stops. Living water baptizes us, saying, you belong. Jesus says, I am the vine, and you are the branches. We grow from God's vine. God's love flows through us like juicy sap. And then good things grow from us. Love and joy and peace like fat, mouth-watering grapes. God is the bread of life that feeds us and fills us up. It is God's own life given for us. The bread of life makes us strong, strong enough to share, strong enough to be kind, strong enough for pure delight, and we find new ways to give God's love away. Goodness, God's goodness is like bright clothes we can put on every morning with a faith as a button and peace as the sleeves. When we are in danger, Jesus is the door that opens to give us shelter and closes to keep us safe. Jesus is also the Good Shepherd who knows your name and everyone else's too. When we journey into places that are slippery and scary, our shepherd stays close and never lets us go. Sometimes we must walk in hot, dry deserts. Then God is our rock, providing shade and a place to rest. God's spirit is wind, moving and blowing away our fear and our mean words, blowing in cheerfulness and making us new. The Spirit is our comforter, nearer than breath, teaching us what we need to know, wrapping us in love. God is a Father who forgives again and again, who watches for us and runs out to meet us. God is a mother who covers us with her wings. Jesus himself is the way we walk to God, who is our home. The end. Now attached to the email, you should have a sheet that lists out the images of God in the Bible that were referenced in this picture book. And I wanted you to look through that list and look at all of the different images of God in the scriptures. Uh, read through that. And when you meet together on Zoom, I want you to discuss some questions that are at the second part of the email um, sheet. What image of God speaks to you the most today? Which image of God was a brand new image for you? Is there an image of God that you've retained from your childhood? Which image of God brings peace to your soul? Which image of God inspires you to continue on your faith journey? One of my favorite quotes from this book is, God's goodness is like bright clothes we can put on every morning with faith as a button and peace as the sleeves. Also on your email, I thought it would be fun to have this activity sheet. It's a crossword puzzle 
which um, lists out different names and titles of Jesus. Some of them were written in this book and are on your sheet, uh, but I thought you might enjoy working through that. Next week, when we come together, we will be looking at the image of God as the light of the world. So, heads up, you'll need a flashlight nearby for our time together. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the various ways that you are a part of our lives. We ask that you surround us, protect us, and be with us as we journey on through this faith in our lives. And we pray these things in your son's name. Amen.